Page number 485, 485.
He's able, he's able, I know he's able, I know my Lord is able to carry me through. He's able, he's able, I know he's able, I know my Lord is able to carry me through. He healed the broken hearted and he set the captive free. He made the lame to walk again and he caused the blind to see. He's able, he's able, I know he's able. I know my Lord is able to carry me through. He's able, he's able, I know he's able. I know my Lord is able to carry me through. He's able, he's able, I know he's able. I know my Lord is able to carry me through. For he healed the brokenhearted and he set the captive free. He made the lame to walk again and he caused the blind to see. He's able, he's able, I know he's able. I know my Lord is able to carry me through. Amen. Heavenly Father, this morning, thank you for that carrying power that power to carry us through that power to heal the brokenhearted to set the captive free whether physically or spiritually lord i thank you for being the one that is able this morning and i pray that we would see you today that you would be honored and glorified and lifted up but also lord that you uh would do a work in our heart that would be life-changing to build on what we already received this last week that you would help us because God, we need your help. Uh, we live in a day and age of wickedness. We live in a day and age of lukewarmness. And I pray that the church would catch fire. Doesn't matter what the world does. We are responsible for serving you with all of our heart and being filled with the spirit. In Jesus' precious name, amen and amen. You all may be seated. You all may be seated. Amen and amen. Amen. I was praying about and contemplating what to teach this morning in Sunday school. Uh, God gave me the message for this morning several days ago. Dios di el mensaje para la mañana, unos días atrás, but wasn't sure the direction he wanted for Sunday school. No, no era seguro la dirección para Escuela Dominical. And... Um, Thought it might be a couple of the lessons. Pensaba que va a ser otros lecciones. Uh, but then he led me uh, a couple of times through the years. We've taught a Sunday school series. Uh, unos uh, veces en, 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 uh, en los años enseñé un um, estudio de, uh, uh, de Escuela Dominical uh, called Lord Send a Revival. Dijo, Señor, mandan un avivamiento. And, and God led me... Uh, to one of the lessons. Dios guió a uno de las lecciones. Uh, go to the book of Habakkuk, chapter number three. Habakkuk, capítulo número tres. Jonah, Nahum, Habakkuk. Jonas, Jonas, Nahum, y Habakkuk. Habakkuk, chapter number three. Three, Habakkuk chapter number three, Habakkuk, capítulo número tres. This is a, a lesson called the heart cry for revival. Es una lección uh, con el nombre, el, 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 um, el clamo del corazón por avivamiento. In the book of Habakkuk, God reveals to Habakkuk the judgment the judgment that was coming on the nation of Israel. In Habakkuk, Dios reveló el, el juicio que va a venir a los hijos de Israel. Uh, in chapter 1, we see that it was a burden. In capítulo 1, miren que era un carga. And so Habakkuk, here in chapter 3, prays to the Lord. Aquí en capítulo 3, Habakkuk, oran al Señor. 
If you look at verse number one and verse number two, versículo uno, versículo número dos, a prayer of Habakkuk the prophet upon Shig Shigiana. O Lord, I have heard thy speech and was afraid. O Lord, revive thy work in the midst of the years. In the midst of the years make known in wrath, remember mercy. In wrath, remember mercy. Here we see that he asked God to revive his work. Aquí, uh, uh, miren que él pide al Señor uh, um, uh, aviva tu obra, aviva tu obra. Uh, I, evangelism is not revival. Evangelismo no es avivamiento. A great campaign where many are saved, that's not revival. Un campaña donde hay muchos salvos, esto no es avivamiento. Evangelism is a result of revival. Evangelismo es un resultado de avivamiento. You study the great revivals. Cuando estudian los gran avivamientos. What came out of, what came out of the revival was fervor for souls. Que salió de avivamiento era un fervor por los almas. When, when God's people are revived, they will have a burning desire to see souls saved. Cuando están uh, uh, vivos, el pueblo de Dios va a tener un deseo que quemen en su corazón a mirar los perdidos salvos. Uh, that is the result. Esto es el resultado. But notice here what he asked for. Permiten que él piden aquí. He says there, revive thy work. Ahí en capítulo número dos dicen, aviva tu obra. And by the way, we are the work of God. Nosotros somos la obra de Dios. The church is the work of God. La iglesia es la obra de Dios. Before Israel was ever going to have an impact on anybody around them, they had to be revived. Antes que Israel va a tener un pacto en cualquier otra persona o nación alrededor de ellos, ellos necesitan tener avivamiento. Brother Buster talked about this. Brother Calvin, both. They both talked about this. Hermano Calvin y hermano uh, uh, Buster, los dos predicó de eso. How revival is our responsibility. Avivamiento es nuestra responsabilidad. If we are waiting for a revival in the world, you're waiting, you're going to be waiting a long time. Si ya está esperando por un avivamiento en el mundo, va a esperar mucho tiempo. I'm talking about amongst the lost people. Estás hablando de en medio de los perdidos. The only way there's going to be a world revival is when God's people are revived. La única manera que va a tener un avivamiento en ese mundo es cuando están vivos los, este, uh, uh, los cristianos. When you study great revivals, cuando estudian los gran avivamientos, what you begin to see is that it began as a work in God's people. Empezaba con un obra, obra en el pueblo de Dios. Did it spread to the lost world? Absolutely. Fui al mundo perdido? Absolutamente. I mean, there were revivals where the, every bar in town closed. Era avivamientos que todas los, las cantinas en un pueblo cerró. Because all the bartenders got saved. Porque todos los dueños se, se salvos. There wasn't enough clients. No eran suficientes clientes. So revival does reach the lost. Avivamiento sí llegan a los perdidos. But it begins in the work of God. Pero empiezan en la obra de Dios. And that's us. Y esto es nosotros. So Habakkuk here is crying out for revival. Habakkuk aquí está pidiendo por avivamiento. And first thing he's saying is revive your work. Y primeramente está orando, aviva su obra. Christians, we've become settled. 
cristianos ya son fijos. We become satisfied. Ya son contentos. We are satisfied with a little bit of religion. Tan contentos con un poco de religión. We're satisfied with a little bit of service. Tan contentos con un poco de servicio. But what we need is that, that, that fire within us that burns. Pero que necesitan en nosotros es este fuego que queman. The fire that the prophet said, I was going to be silent, but I could not because it was like a burning fire in my mouth. Este fuego que el, la profeta dijo, yo a ser en silencio, pero no podía, porque era como un fuego, un, 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 un fuego en mi, en mi boca. That, that, that burning where we are willing to be spent for the ministry. Este fuego que están dispuestos a ser gastado por el ministerio. What we see in those first century Christians in that first century church. Que miren estos cristianos del primer siglo, en esa iglesia del primer siglo, that were willing to go to the death for the gospel. Los que eran dispuestos a ir a la muerte por el evangelio. Those men who brought us this English Bible. Estos hombres que traen nosotros esa Biblia en inglés. Uh, the ones long before 1611. Los muchos antes de uh, uh, 1611. Those that were willing to be burned at the stake. So that the word could go forth. Los que eran dispuestos a ser quemado en un poste. Que podía tener la palabra de Dios. The men like John Bunyan who were not willing to compromise but willing more to go to jail. Los como John Bunyan que era dispuestos a este, a ir, no era dispuestos a tener compromiso con el mundo, pero listos a ir al cárcel and from there write Pilgrim's Progress. De ahí escribió el uh, 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 Progreso de pere, Peregrino, Peregrino, I think it's, you say, Peregrino. It was that same burning fire, it's the fuego, uh, that, that we've got this idea that in uh, 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 America there was always religious freedom. Tiene la idea que en América siempre era libertad religioso, that is not the case. Esto no es el caso. Before the Revolutionary War, antes de la guerra revolucionario, there was persecution of Christians in the New World. Era persecución de los cristianos en el Nuevo Mundo. Dr. James Beller wrote a tremendous story of the history of Baptist in America. And Dr. James Beller escribió un, un libro tremendo de los bautistas en América. It's called America in Crimson Red. Te amo, uh, 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 América en Rojo de Escarleta. And it's the history of the persecution that was endured by Baptists here in the New World. La persecución de los que aguantó los cristianos aquí en el Nuevo Mundo. One of the big reasons why we fought in the Revolutionary War alongside everyone else as Baptists was for religious freedom. One of the reasons that we fought on the side of the other in the Revolutionary War was for religious freedom. Religious liberty is really a new idea. Libertad religiosa es un nuevo idea. It's in the last couple hundred years. It's in los últimos 200, 250 años. It is, it is new to the new world. Es nuevo al nuevo mundo. Men and women willing to be spent for the service of the Lord. Hombres y mujeres dispuestos a ser gastado por el servicio del Señor. We don't have that today. 
No tiene eso ahora. And if we were honest with ourselves, si era honesto con nosotros mismos, we're probably not as spiritual as we think we are. No son tan espiritual como piensas. When was the last time you were really burdened for a soul? ¿Cuándo era el último tiempo que tú tenías un gran carga por un alma? How much does sin bother you? ¿Qué tanto molesta en el pecado? And I have to ask myself these questions. Yo necesito dar estas preguntas a mí mismo también. Do we, do we desire and love this book? ¿Quieres deseo y aman ese libro? What has the gospel cost you lately? ¿Qué es el precio que pagué por el evangelio ahora? Today, there are Christians gladly being martyred. Hoy hay cristianos con agradecidos a ser mártires. You realize there's more persecution going on today than almost any other time in history? ¿Has reconocido que hay, hay más persecución hoy en día que casi en toda la historia? We're just in a bubble here in the United States. Están aislados aquí en los Estados Unidos. I mean, just to the north of us. Más al norte de nosotros. If you preach against homosexuality, you could go to jail. Más al norte de nosotros, si prediquen en contra de homosexualidad, pueden ir a cárcel. Think about it. Our big persecution is they might not let us preach on Facebook. Nuestra gran persecución es pueden ser que no va a dejar a nosotros a predicar en Facebook. Say, Brother Matt, what's going to happen if they, they, if they stop us? Go back to the way Christians always did it. You know how Christians have done it for centuries? With their voice and with their feet. Yesterday, we still were able to go to doors, right? We were able to leave tracks. Podían dejar folletos. Only a couple times that we've, we've had different apartment complexes call and say, you shouldn't be here. Más uno dos veces. And even then they were very nice about it. Hasta esto era bien amable. We need to realize that we need that burning fire within us. Necesitan este fuego adentro de nosotros. That burning desire that we can't wait to hear from God. Este fuego que no pueden esperar a escuchar de Dios. That burning fire when it's not a battle and a chore to talk to the Lord. Este fuego que no es una batalla a orar y, y hablar con el Señor. When was the last time you ever just got lost in your Bible reading? ¿Cuál era la última vez que nomás era perdido en su leer la Biblia? When was the last time you weren't looking at the watch to see how long it was taken? ¿Cuál era la última vez que no estuvo mirando su reloj a mirar qué tanto tiempo está tomando? You ever gotten lost in prayer before? ¿Ha sido perdido en oración? And what I mean by that is you just... You lost, time, lost track of time. Perdió el tiempo. Weren't worried about eating. No era preocupado a comer. If you've ever heard of a man, there's a, there was a missionary by the name of Praying Hyde. Yo missionero te amo. Hyde de, de oración. They said they would have to come in and remind him you haven't eaten. Necesitan entrar a decir, recordar a él, no has comido. Because he would just get lost in his prayer life. Perdido en su... Vida de oración. We need to get to the place where 
We're not always talking about how much we're sacrificing for God. Si te llegar al punto que no está pensando en qué tanto está sacrificando por Dios. We're not sacrificing anything. No está sacrificando nada. It's a joy. Es un gozo. He's the one that sacrificed. Él es que sacrificó. We're just supposed to be offering sacrifices. Nomás deben ofrecer los sacrificios. But boy, isn't it amazing? I was like, oh boy, just, boy, we're really sacrificing and giving. Está sacrificando en dar. I don't know about you, but the more I give to the Lord, it seems like the more he gives back. No sé de ti, pero más que dar al Señor, el más que Él da para atrás. Just this week, más esta semana. A few weeks ago, God laid on my heart how much He wanted me to give to the offering for the revival. Unos semanas para atrás, el Señor guió a mí cuánto quiere dar a la ofrenda. It's an amazing thing, but a check came through the mail. You go and check at the correo. The person said this. They said, Lord just laid it on my heart to send it to you. You do with it what you want. Persona no más dicen, el Señor, pone mi corazón a mandar. It's exactly the offering. Exactamente la ofrenda. I'm not telling you that to brag. No estás diciendo esto a presumir. I'm telling you that because it's not a sacrifice. No es un sacrificio. God is greater than anything that we do. Dios es más grande que todo que hacen. Get back to the place where our joy is restored. Donde nuestro gozo está restaurado. Back to that place of burden for souls. A regresar a este lugar de carga por los almas. Desire for the word and for prayer. Deseo por la palabra y oración. Where we don't look at everything as how, what a burden and a sacrifice I'm giving. Que no miren que tan carga y sacrificio que está dando. When the joy of our salvation is restored. When we're just hungry. But hungry for God. No tiene un hambre, pero un hambre por Dios. When we want what Brother Calvin talked about, Brother Terrence talked about on Friday, when we want the oil. Cuando quieren que uh, predicó hermano Terrence en viernes, que quieren el aceite, we just want the Holy Spirit. No más quieren el Espíritu Santo. When was the last time you were disgusted by your sin? ¿Cuándo es el último tiempo que tenía asco de su pecado? I'm not talking about everybody else's sin. No estás hablando del pecado de todos los demás. It needs to start with us being disgusted with our sin. Así tiene que empezar con el asco de nuestro pecado. There's a passage in the Bible where it talks that they lost their blush. Pasaje que hablan que perdió su vergüenza. I don't know about you, but I, there are there are weights and sins that beset me. Hay pecados y pesos que están en mi vida. They just are, and they're they're a battle. Es una batalla. When was the last time that you? Lost your temper and it bothered you. ¿Cuándo era el último tiempo que perdió su temperamento y se enojó y frustró a ti? When was the last time you missed your Bible reading and it bothered you? ¿Cuándo era el último tiempo que, que no leí su Biblia y, 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 y esto frustró a ti? You know what revival will do? Sabe que hace el avivamiento? It will reveal to us our sin. Revela nuestro pecado. And give us an opportunity to get it right. 
de dar oportunidad a poner correcto. How we need God to revive his work. Como necesitan que Dios aviva tu obra. You know what's sad? You know what's really sad about the children of Israel? ¿Sabe qué es triste de los hijos de Israel? Many times when they were living and doing all this other stuff, muchas veces cuando estuvo haciendo todas las cosas demás, they were also trying to do the service of the Lord. También estuvo tratando de hacer el servicio del Señor. They're still going to the tabernacle. Todavía fue al tabernáculo. They still went to the temple. Fue al templo. They're still giving sacrifice. Todavía dando sacrificio. They're still doing all the religious things, haciendo todas las cosas religiosas, but they were not right with God. Pero no era correcto con Dios. Wasn't there times when God would say, I'm sick of your sacrifices? No era tiempos que Dios dice, ya, ya, ya. Ya está. Ya no quieren tus sacrificios. In the New Testament, were the Pharisees doing religious things? En el Nuevo Testamento, ¿estuvo haciendo cosas religiosas los fariseos? And if you were to look at their life, it probably would have put us to shame. Si miren su vida, va a poner a nosotros de vergüenza. But it was all show. It was all flesh. Pero era puro show. Era puro carne. And what God wanted was the heart. Que Dios quisiera tener era el corazón. Revive thy work. Aviva obra in the midst of the years in the midst of the years make known in wrath remember mercy I remember a few years ago I've, um, I think every year since I've been, been pastor yo creo que cada año desde que era pastor we've always done try to do patriotic things on the 4th of July Tratea said Cosas patriótico en el 4 de julio. Big services, grandes servicios. If you remember a few years ago, I said, you know what? We, we, we keep saying this, God bless America. Unos años atrás, yo dijo, estuvo diciendo, Dios bendice en América. I said, we're going to change it here. Va a cambiar aquí. We're going to say, God have mercy in America. Va a decir, Dios tiene misericordia en América. As lukewarm as the church has been. Tan tibio como es la iglesia. We don't deserve blessing. No deben recibir bendición. What we need is mercy. Que necesitan es misericordia. David lifted up in pride. David levantado en orgullo. David, who felt he was so big now, he didn't even have to go out and fight with the kings. David, que sentí que yo soy tan grande ni necesito a batallar con los reyes. David stayed home. David quedó en casa. And that's when he saw the woman. Esto es cuando miraba la mujer. That's when he brought her to his house. Esto es cuando traía a su casa and to his bed, a su cama. And that's when the sin began with Bathsheba. Esto es cuando empecé el pecado con Bethsabé. It didn't start with lust. No empecé con, con este lascivio. It started with that pride. Empezaba que en este guro, uh, uh, orgullo, when he, he just believed he'd arrive. Pensé, pensaba que llegó. When he deserved to stay home. Cuando él ya batalló tanto que debe de quedar en casa. When he forgot that all he had was simply the grace of God. When all of you todo él tenía era siempre la gracia de Dios. Gracia de Dios. But it all ended in Psalm 51. Pero todo acabó en Salmo 51. Him on his knees begging God for mercy. 
Él en sus rodillas pidiendo a Dios misericordia. I don't think we're all that bad. Yo no creo que está tan mal. Did you know that God told us to reach the whole world? ¿Sabes que Dios dice a escoger todo el mundo? And every year, there's more missionaries leaving the field than going onto the field. Cada año hay más misioneros saliendo del campo misionero que está entrando al campo misionero. Did you know there was a time in the United States when the largest church in almost every state was a fundamental Baptist church? ¿Tú sabes que era un tiempo en los Estados Unidos que en casi todos los estados la iglesia más grande era una iglesia bautista fundamental? Not now. Ahora no. And we, we make excuses. Well, it's just the times. Las excusas son los tiempos. Well, it's just the way people are today. Es la manera que la gente somos ahora. Wait a minute. Let's think about this for a minute. Before you get saved, weren't you like that? Antes de tu salvación, no era como así? Weren't we worldly? No era carnal? Weren't we wicked? No era malos? We were like that before our salvation, right? So we were like that antes de nuestra salvation, and God saved us. Y Dios salvó a nosotros. Was God willing to save people in Noah's day? Dios era dispuesto a salvarlos en el día de Noé. Anyone that got on the ark could have been saved. Cualquier que entró la arca podía ser salvo. But the grace was still available. Todavía era disponible la gracia. Noah found grace in the sight of the Lord. Noé encontré gracia delante del Señor. Has the power of God gotten weaker? ¿Está más débil el poder de Dios? Has the gospel changed? Has cambiado el evangelio? Was the first church persecuted? ¿Era perseguido la primera iglesia? Was the first church told to be quiet? So, ¿Dice la primera iglesia ser quieto? Yes. We act as if we're working in harder times. Actuar como está trabajando en, en días más difíciles. We're not. No somos. There's always been dark days in history. Siempre era uh, días oscuros en la oscuridad. Uh, uh, you do realize there was a whole long period of time called the dark ages. Even secular history calls them the dark ages. En un tiempo la historia... Te amo la edad de oscuridad. Hasta los eh, eh, de historia secular dicen la, la edad de oscuridad. It's always been a dark world. Siempre era un mundo oscuro, but the power of God is still the same. Pero el poder de Dios es el mismo. The word of God is still the same. La palabra de Dios todavía es el mismo. The gospel is still the same. El evangelio todavía es el mismo. The difference isn't in any of that. The difference is in us. La diferencia no es en estas cosas, es en nosotros. We're not the Christians that they were. No somos los cristianos como ellos de antes. So what do we need? ¿Qué necesitan? Mercy. Misericordia. We need God to revive us. Necesitan Dios que avivan a nosotros. But it will only come if we're willing. Más va a venir si nosotros son dispuestos. But this is what I need, you need to understand about revival. Esto es que necesitan entender de avivamiento. It changes everything. Cambian todo. It will move you out of your comfort zone. Va a quitar ti de su... Solo de confort. It'll make you have to look at yourself differently. 
Tú vas a necesitar mirar a ti mismo diferente. It will make you look at sin differently. Va a causar a ti a mirar el pecado diferente. There are going to be things you're going to have to give up. Va a ser cosas que necesitan rendir. It'll come to the place where your time is not your own. Ay, God, que tu tiempo no es tuyo. Your things are not your own. Tus cosas no son suyos. Your dreams are not your own. Tus sueños no son suyos. It will have to become all about God. Va a necesitar llegar todo de Dios. And it's going to have to all be the work of God. Y todo la obra de Dios. How we need to go back to not look what I've done, but look what he has done. Como necesitan regresar de, no, miren que yo hiciste, pero miren que él hiciste. Notice there it says a prayer of Habakkuk, the prophet upon Shigenoa. It's an oración del profeta Habakkuk sobre Shigenoa. Shigenoa. That, that word Shigenoa is an interesting word. Esta palabra, Shigenoa, es una palabra interesante. It actually means an expression of profound and strong emotion. It's an expression de emoción profundo y fuerte. He just... This burden upon him, este carga en él, it was so deep and so emotional, and it tan profundo y emocional, that it drove him to God. Mandó a Dios. And it gave him the fear of God. Di a él el temor de Dios. If we're going to have revival, We need mercy. Necesita misericordia. We need God to revive his work. Necesita que Dios aviva tu obra. We're going to have to have the fear of God. Va a necesitar tener el temor de Dios. The word fear is fear. La palabra temor es temor. I understand it, it, it means respect. For a position, yo sé que es respecto de posición. Doesn't the Bible say in este, uh, um, Jude, some would fear pulling him out of the fire? La Biblia no dice en Judas, unos con, con miedo sacando del fuego. Doesn't the Bible talk about how they trembled before God? La Biblia no habla de cómo ellos temblaban en frente de Dios. God was not a joke to Habakkuk. Dios no era un broma a Habakkuk. He was someone to be revered and to be feared. Alguien de reverencia y temor. He is our loving father. Es un padre de, de amor. But he is also a father of correction. Es un padre de corrección. He's a father of discipline. Es un padre de disciplina. And he is a father of judgment. Es un padre de juicio. We don't have that in this world. No tiene eso en este mundo. The sad thing is we don't have it in the church. No tiene eso en la iglesia. We live in open sin and don't even fear God. Vive en pecado abierto y ni tiene temor de Dios. And we expect revival. Y tiene expectación de avivamiento. If we got nothing else out of last week. Si no saque nada más de la semana pasada. 
with that preaching, con esta predicación, shouldn't we have come out with a heart crying for revival? No podía sal sal salir con un corazón clamando por avivamiento. Where the work of God is revived. Con la obra de Dios está vivo. Many times when I go to camp meeting, muchas veces cuando va a camp meeting, uh, the, the brother Danny will say something like this. Hermano Danny dijo algo como así. Sometimes we got to get, it's got to get, the preaching's got to be tough at the beginning of the week. Dice, muchas veces necesita ser fuerte predicación al principio de la semana so we can shout out at the end of the week. Que pueden gritar en el final. Many times we have to get things right at the beginning of the week so we can shout it out at the end. Muchas veces necesitas poner correcto con Dios en el principio para tener gozo en el final. Christian, there's joy. But there's joy in getting right with Christ. Hay gozo, pero hay gozo poniendo bien con Cristo. And then we can do the work in the power of the Holy Spirit. Ya puede hacer la obra en el poder del Espíritu Santo. Is your heart crying for revival? Está clamando su corazón por avivamiento, Heavenly Father, that we would have this burden, that we would have this burden and this desire for revival. And Lord, before we look anywhere else, may we look within ourselves and say, do I have that fire? Do I have that desire? We ask all this in the precious name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen and amen. We'll be back at 11 o'clock.